Hey guys, I've got an update on my um, Malden as a wallet. Um, I have been using it and actually not carrying a purse since I put everything I own in this binder and it's really huge. Um, it makes me wonder how long it'll take for it to explode. Um, so I need to archive some of these pages and maybe make some changes. I wanted to do a, um, you know, a flip through before I did that. Um, the only downside that I found so far is I was in Walmart this morning and needed to use the ladies room and there is no way to hang a Malden in a stall. Um, there wasn't even any place I wanted to put the Malden in the Walmart stall. So it was a little awkward, I have to say. That's been really the one downside. Um, I'm keeping a few pens in here because I'm using them for something else and I'll show you that later. Um, up front is prescriptions that I need to fill and some um, these, these uh, sticky notes because somebody is always asking me for paper and my translucent tabs. The, um, my driver's license and uh, credit card and this is the receipt for this morning. Um, I usually, sorry about that, I usually try and make sure I'm going to keep everything before I get rid of the receipts. Um, I'm actually thinking that these may be something that can go. Um, because these are taking up a considerable amount of room and I can get along with most, not having most of this. Uh, you have to be a little careful. Um, isn't this cute? This is a wooden Christmas card. I got it as a sample and it's adorable. Uh, anyway, so I use a lot of the early planners. Um, I found them really helpful. Uh, I have the ones from past years, as I said. I also have the current year. And um, I mean, it's it's been great. I mean, it, it helps me figure out when Ventura had his teeth done last, how long his dog food lasts, because I do place orders for that. Um, also, my own medication, uh, how many times I've refilled, and any family parties, any monumental things. Um, I mean, it's been great. And since I had extra yearly calendars, this is my um, book and um, like a series, not a TV show. I mean, I don't write down every time I watch Project Runway, but I do um, mark down series that I've watched, series that I've watched on either Netflix or Amazon Prime, so I don't uh, duplicate. Um, and then we get into the um, monthly pages where I'm doing what I guess is considered um, artistically inches. They're like inch drawings. And I do want to keep these. These are something that I want to keep. Um, this was February. These are the um, Jillio pages, which I understand are the same pages as Vanderspeck pages. I like these. I might reorder these when I run out. Uh, 
this is part, this is half of March. And you can see I've done, it was my birthday um, on the 18th. So I did a little piece of birthday cake and I started doing it on the wrong day, the day under it. So I have a feeling the 25th might be Swiss cheese. I haven't finished it yet. Um, this is the other side. And there's a stamp on that side. And I bought the um, DIY Fish uh, yearly chart pages to track um, habits. Uh, you know, and I decided to start slow with this. Um, these are all like personal care things that people do every day and I don't work so I don't leave the house and a lot of times I don't I get everything done in dribs and drabs so you know say I brush my teeth at five o'clock but I don't wash my face and I don't take a shower and um, all the other little things that I want to do and then nine o'clock comes and I absolutely have to leave the house and I am a screaming mess and so I decided that what I would do is make a list of the things plus um, two vitamins vitamin D and biotin so that I get these all done hopefully in a group but I spread them out because if I put everything, every habit I wanted to change or work on or track at once, I would be overwhelmed in about an hour and a half. So the way these inserts are set up, they're the months on the top and the weeks. So since I can't, you know, track every single day, I do things on it. This is where it starts because this is gone. Um, so I, since I can't track individually on that particular paper because it's an overview sheet. Oh, sorry guys, I will find it. And my pages are crazy full. Um, the first thing I did was I just cut off this part of one of the DIY fish inserts. Um, the first thing that I did was uh, just cut off a section of another printed um, chart. I punched holes in both sides and I was just going to keep track um, switching from one side to the other when I went to the second half of the week. But I don't want to have to print and cut and waste all that paper. Um, so what I ended up doing was I went to a graph post-it note and it would be one of these a week and say this is shower and I put the dates so it was the um, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. And for the things that I want to do twice, like, you know, um, take care of my skin, wash my face, um, I did a 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, etc. All the way down to the bottom. And these are all personal care things. And... You know, they usually get done eventually, although I haven't been great about washing off my makeup. Um, I even bought the, um, you know, makeup remover towelettes so that if I just don't have it in me, you know, when I go to bed, I at least can take some of it off. But, um, so my point with these really is I'd like to get this stuff done in the morning um, because, like I said, come 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, if, if I have to go out to the grocery store and nothing is done yet or somebody comes to the door, that's always just awful. 
Um, you know, I'd rather just be wearing something that's reasonable, at least not my pajamas, um, have, have taken care of my skin, have brushed my teeth, um, and I don't have to think about it for the rest of the day. Um, instead of doing my teeth when I wake up and my face an hour later and I don't know I know that's just really silly but um, I really think that I can do this um, when Josh started the accountability group on Facebook the first thing I did was decide what I was going to do was close the cabinet doors in the kitchen because I always leave them open and I thought I was never going to be able to change and honestly I changed right away just the intention of doing it was really enough so my plan is to track the stuff I want to track here weekly and then move it over to the week on the yearly sheet and I'm going to give myself two weeks before I add another habit to work on because I think that's really what you need to do if I had 25 things I wanted to change at once I don't really think I can do that but I think that this is really going to help me um, if I stick with it. And I think that that's really, I think that that's really, I don't think anything else is different. Um, I may take out some of these, you know, consolidate the things in this plastic, these plastic containers they really take up a lot of room and I don't mind taking this to the store I don't mind plunking it down when I'm paying for my groceries I don't mind it at all um, the only thing I minded was trying to find a place for it in the ladies room stall at Walmart but um, I'll, I'll know a little better next time but this is working out great um, the leather continues to look better and better. If you're familiar with a Malden, um, this probably doesn't look much like Malden leather to you. Um, it looks like a flat Napa leather now, actually, which is a way better finish. I really wish they would make the Malden in a Napa leather. Um, but I guess that's it. I wanted to talk about my wallet project and um, also talk about DIY Fish's yearly um, inserts there on Etsy. I'll provide a link. They are a great way to test the waters. They were very inexpensive. I mean a couple of dollars, maybe four dollars, three dollars, I can't really remember. And she sends you the download link and fabulous. So um, I guess that's it. And I will talk to you guys soon. I hope everybody is having a good almost spring already. Um, Opener is dreaming that he's running. He does that a lot. So thanks everybody. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.